I, knew, I remember that he was quite ill later in his life. But yet, he insisted on painting. He was at a, at a, at a clinic in London receiving treatment, yet he was painting. And that was very, very interesting. When he returned to Baghdad after recovering, partially, of course, he was still invalid, he still painted. And that is one interesting thing about Shu'lat al-Hayat, the torch of life. And that's what we should all really learn from Hafez. To his last day, he was full of life. Until life said goodbye to him. He didn't say goodbye to life. Life said goodbye to him. And that is how I remember Hafez lying on his bed, motionless. And at that moment when I saw him, it reflected all the years I knew him since 1956. It's quite a period, isn't it? Of course, there are among you who knew him even before me. And through this period, I remember all the times, all the interesting things, when you used to tease each other, I remember he used to smoke heavily. He used to smoke players, Navy cut players. You remember the old cigarettes, players, Navy, Navy cut. And I never smoked before, but to tease him, I would always ask him to give me a cigarette, which I never smoked, just in order to get him excited.